अब स्टूडेंट्स कुछ डिस्कशन स्टार्ट करेंगे अबाउट द वायरलेस लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क्स हम लोगों ने वाइड लैंड्स और वाइड वैंस को काफी डिस्कस कर लिया विल टॉक अबाउट द वायरलेस टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर अ बेट स्टूडेंट्स द रीजन वी आर गोइंग टू स्पेसिफाई वायरलेस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डिस्कशन इज बिकॉज वायरलेस टेक्नोलॉजी इज द फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग टेक्नोलॉजी दैट वी हैव गॉट अराउंड हेयर स्टूडेंट्स द वर्ल्ड इज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स यूजिंग you know less and less cables in fact in most of the cases we are actually uh, we have actually reached a cableless uh, medium but it's still um, quite a bit um, to go to go completely wireless um students we have got um, connecting devices uh, which at the moment use cables and the technology is fast approaching um, the time where everything is going to be um, cableless or wireless students still we have got some wireless um, networks quite a bit of wireless networks that are all around us especially the um, wifi or wireless fidelity network as we call it the wireless lan as we know about it today um, and the wifi network is the most common way that we have got of of uh, wireless local area networks in in different universities offices and campuses and stuff like that students before we go into the discussion of our wireless local area network we need to talk a little bit about the architecture and when we talk about the architecture the best way to um, discuss the wireless local area networks or the wireless lan architecture is to compare it with the wired lan architecture students there are a few points that we'll discuss the first point that we're going to talk about is the medium uh, comparison between the wired lan and our wireless lans students we know that in the case of wired lans um we need cables our medium transmission medium that we spoke about um it all consists of different cables whether it's utp stp twisted pair um coaxial cable or fiber optic we need the medium is wired students um we use different techniques because of that wired nature of the uh, local area networks which are which use cables in the case of wireless though our medium that we use is only air students air is by nature a shared medium everybody around us whether they are talking face to face or they are using um wireless communication they are using um air they are sharing this air as a medium of students uh, by default the wireless lan and the and the use of air as a medium so what we end up with is a broadcast so every single wireless lan uh, technology that we are going to be talking about it works on the basis of broadcast uh, networking so students first of all the medium is a basic difference between our wired and our wireless technologies students uske baad we are going to talk about the different hosts students in the case of host we 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 knew that uh, our hosts were different end user machines or end user devices which were actually connected once again um, to a central switch by using wires students agar host ko hum logon ne move karna hota tha to what we used to do was uh, we used to actually pick up a host and change its position and we knew that the link layer address or the physical address which is defined by the network interface card that's inside uh, this wired device that did not change but the network address changed so if the if if we move a uh, a station in a wired local area network the physical address used to remain the same while the network address used to change but your host was still confined um, and and connected to a particular um, layer 2 or a layer 3 device um, using cables or wires students in the case of uh, wireless as the name indicates your hosts are free to move so we need to figure out how the um, the link layer addressing and network addressing is going to be done in the case of wireless students then we have got isolated lans um in the case of isolated lans i told you that a lan a local area network in the case of wired um lan we had a few switches uh, we had a few stations or end user devices or computers that were connected to a switch a link layer switch students in the case of uh, wireless that is not the case we'll go to the slide and we'll talk about the isolated lans on a slide students as you can see on the slide we have got a case of an isolated lan top figure and as i told you we have got multiple hosts and all of those hosts are connected to this centralized switch in the case of a wired network up students in the case of uh, wireless 
we have got an isolated wireless isolated LAN that's shown in the bottom figure and it's also called as an ad hoc network. Students, a wireless LAN ki terminology mein, it is uh, this ad hoc ne network. It's a set of hosts that communicate freely with each other using a wireless technology. So students, in this particular case, the concept of um, the link layer, link layer switch, that does not exist. Students, so uh, the next point that we're going to talk about is the connection to the other networks. So in the case of a wired LAN, it can be connected to any other network or any other internet work, such as internet that we normally discuss using a particular router, as you can see out here. Everything is wired. So we are using wires within the wired LAN, and we are using the wired um, connections to the router, and that router ultimately connects to the external networks, whether it, uh, it is a different local area network or an internet. Students, in the, in the wireless LAN, which we also refer to as an infrastructure network because it uses a centralized device that we call as an access point. Students, so this device is used to connect the wireless network by using a wired connection. You see the access point is still connected to the external infrastructure or to the external networks by using a wired connection. So students, this access point is used to connect our wireless ad hoc network, which because of the presence of this access point is now called an infrastructure network um, to the outside world. Uh, students, one additional point that I, that I would like to make on this particular slide is that the wireless LAN exists on the first two layers of the TCP IP suite. So, so basically, the wireless LAN exists on the bottom two layers. This is our layer one and this is our layer two these two layers is where your wireless LANs will exist. So students, and because that is the case, if we have a wired LAN in a building that is connected via a router or a modem to the internet, then all we need to do to move from this wired to the wireless LAN infrastructure is we need to remove this link layer switch and replace this with a access point. So number one, what we have done is we have removed the link layer switch and we have replaced that with, a, uh, with an access point. And students, number two, we will replace the network interface cards in our wired network, in the machines in our wired network. We'll replace them from a wired NIC to a wireless NIC. So a network interface card that is capable of supporting the the connection, the wireless connection um, with each other or with the access point. So just by doing these two things, we will actually be able to convert a wired LAN into a wireless LAN and it's simply going to be um, a different link layer address because we have changed network interface card. So the uh, link layer address or the physical address is going to change, but the layer three address, um, network address is going to stay the same.